it's <laughs> it's a lot worse back here in the timber than I thought. What's up guys, this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm just out in the shop today. I had a few projects to do this morning then I thought, well, I need to get some stuff set up in the shop. So as you can see, I went and bought a nice big fan, a big pedestal fan, three speed, <sighs> nice. And I've got a few more things on the way. I'm not gonna do like full in-depth detailed assembly on stuff like this, I mean, it's tedious and I don't have the patience for it right now so I'm gonna just put it on hold and probably do this uh, one evening after dark when it cools off but it's a, uh, a US general five drawer tool cart nothing fancy not going like top of the line snap on blah 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 I'm just trying to get my shop set up nice neat orderly trying to start right and be organized but trying to figure out where I'm gonna put everything is tough. So I'm slowly bringing stuff from the garage up there down to the shop so we can condense all the tools, all the work stuff down here. Cause I think my wife wants to do some other things with the garage, maybe for the kids or something. But I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put things like my old Campbell Hossfield air compressor and the old nasty hose, um, trying to trying to do things right. You know, I went out and purchased a few new things for the shop yesterday. A lot of it is stuff that I've never had before. And while we're kind of in the mood, I wanted to get things set up right. So buying things like a retractable hose reel for the air compressor. So we don't have this hose all just wound up everywhere. Not sure if I'm gonna mount it. Well, I thought about mounting it on these shelves but that's probably not sturdy enough. I'll probably scrape some of the foam off of that three by three square beam and just mount it right there. And it's a 50 foot hose trying to decide, do I want it right next to the door? I don't know. So kind of my beginning stages of trying to figure out where everything's gonna go. And I still don't know what all's gonna go in here, what all we're gonna do with this. I do know we will eventually Put in a sink and some countertop spaces, workbenches, refrigerator. I'm thinking about doing something, you know, TV, recliner, having a little man space out here, something like that. But anyways, it's hot in here and I have to turn off the big fan when I talk to you guys because it's loud. But I'm going to uh, go get a bite to eat for lunch, run the house to cool off, and then, I don't know, go do some projects outside. I got to get out of here. This thing and all this little tedious nuts and bolts stuff, for me, comes in small spurts. Do a little bit and go on, because I do goofy things like putting the casters in the wrong spot and not having the two that swivel next to each other. Anyways, that's boring for you guys, so let's go get something to eat and then we'll get on a real project. Okay, so maybe I lied. I didn't quite make it back out 
like I had planned after lunch. But we had to go to a ball game. Emily had a softball game yesterday. Turn this loud fan off. Emily had a softball game. We had a lot of other stuff to do. So I'm gonna get out this morning. I think I'm going to take the little Kubota with the grapple bucket and go work on a trail. So where Emily and Houston and I went fishing down on the creek the other day, there were trees everywhere. And I've got a trail that runs along the creek and it was like down trees everywhere. So take the tractor and a couple chainsaws over there and get to work. But hey, I did get my uh, <laughs> 500 piece toolbox put together. Got another one. Moved a couple shelves over there. I still got some trash in here. Trying to figure out my layout where I'm gonna put everything. Just so much free space right now. But hey, it's the only really nice toolboxes I've ever had. And I'm sure somebody is gonna complain about the brand because they're not Snap-on or something really, really expensive. But hey, those are much better priced for me. telling you what it's like a bomb went off down here so where I'm at right now the creek runs just over there about 20 yards or so you might be able to see the steep bank but my trail through here is just completely gone I mean that is all the tops of that tree came out just from this big windstorm we had a couple weeks ago but you can see I mean, I've been working on that brush pile for a while but I mean just walk over here a little ways Look at the size of the trees that were blown down. These are old trees. Massive. So there's one down there. Then another one here. I mean, it's like a jungle in here right now. And this is one of the areas of the farm that the goats can't get to. There is a fence, uh, but it separates this timber block from that open field over there. Used to, it was basically to keep the cows away from the creek when we had a bunch of cows here. That fence won't stop the goats. You saw me mowing that fence line, cleaning it up a while back. I want to come in there and put some sheep and goat wire on that. And then I can allow the goats to come over here. They never cross the creek. So as long as I don't put anything besides the goats over, the goats won't get their feet wet. They hate getting their feet wet. So I can use that fence to keep them in, in the creek. And I would love to get the goats down here because they would love this area but it's quite the mess down here for sure
I don't know that I've ever shown any of you guys that, but that dam, I don't know if you can tell, there's so much brush growing around it right now, but that dam is just like the one where our swimming hole's at, except the creek still flows around this one, and that's what used to happen at our house. But as you can see, it's higher on both sides, so the water used to go across the middle. And these dams were built back during the Great Depression, during the old um, the uh, workforce groups that when President Roosevelt, I believe it was Roosevelt, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the CCC, the Civilian Corps, the Civilian Conservation Corps, is that right? I'm working off a of memory here. I didn't look any of this up. It's been a long time since I've studied any of that. Anyways, they came through, the government hired people, put them to work during the Great Depression. They built about five of those dams on this specific creek. And we're lucky enough to have two of them on our property, but that one's never been restored. And it's so far back here in the woods, I probably never will. But the creek just over the decades has washed around it. So I don't know, kind of neat, but working on my trail, it's a lot worse back here than I thought. Uh, I came through with the big uh, skid steer and the extreme duty brush cutter and cleared a road down through here last year. Cause used to, this was only walk-in access only back here, but we're able to keep the road open now trying to trim some trees as we go through, move all those limbs out of the way, but it's, <laughs> it's a lot worse back here in the timber than I thought. Tell you what, this is a mess, but I do feel truly blessed to have good equipment to be able to clean up all this stuff. These kind of things like this, with all these down trees and everything, are chores that typically in the past would have taken me weeks, months, years, and may never have gotten to some of them. Um, being able to do what I do now allows me some, some time flexibility, some time freedom, and I have so much fun out here doing this stuff. But I want to show you something real quick. So last month, I don't know, a month or so, we, we did a, uh, a sponsored video for a company called Simple Strap. And it's kind of like a bungee strap, big elastic rubber band type thing. You use them to secure all kinds of stuff. But I really, if you hadn't noticed, I like carrying saws with me so I, when I get in here, I can trim some things up. Because that grapple, that grapple bucket is awesome. But it's easy to overwork this little tractor and I don't want to, treat it like a bulldozer or a skid steer because that's not what it is i don't want to tear up my tractor so i try to bring my little chainsaws and that's why i bought these battery powered chainsaws i absolutely love them i know some of you give me a hard time for it but so i'll carry sometimes i'll just stuff my regular little battery powered dewalt chainsaw back there but i like putting my pole saw on my box blade because this is just back here for counterweight right now i'm not using it to grade a driveway but that little pole saw fits perfectly there. And these simple strap straps, with them being a elastic rubber, you know, they secure that thing on there really tight. So let me show you how they work real quick. So these little simple strap straps are pretty handy. Like I said, it's just a big heavy duty, like rubber elastic band. And there's no ratchets, no gears, no hooks or anything like that. So in order to strap something on, secure it down, it really just uses tension just like a rubber band so when you wrap it around itself it uses that friction to stay tight put a little half hitch in it and it's secure it's not going anywhere i really like being able to use my pole saw and have somewhere to store it on the tractor that's secure i was just wrapping a chain around it kind of hooking it onto my box blade but it still vibrates it still moves this holds it very secure it's not going anywhere and these things are really easy to use so if you're interested, we'll leave a link in the description box down below. I mean, they're a fairly simple little product. 
but pretty handy under the right circumstances and this is one of those circumstances right here Well, another successful project done. Goats are going crazy. Steve's going crazy. They're all hungry, but I think I'm gonna go in, fix myself some lunch first, cool off for a little bit, and then get all the chores done. And get around and go pick up these kids from school. Um, you know, I gotta get Houston back in some videos. We got Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. That's our video time with Houston right now. So I promise we will get Houston back in some videos. I know you guys are missing him. I've got some creek videos that I wanna do that may not be micro fishing, but we need to do some trapping. We need to do some creek monster trapping and got some ideas in the works, but Houston's been aggravated at me because I posted several videos without him. That's just kind of how it goes this time of year when school's in session. So anyways, I'm gonna go get me some lunch, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.